In hindsight, you can tell me that this was actually pretty stupid. What's up everybody? My name is Alex. Welcome back to yet another trading recap. This recap is actually from yesterday's trading session. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to make a video and edit everything yesterday because I was pretty busy. So I'm doing that today. Um, also because today I'm not actually trading in the markets. I tend to always lose money on Friday, so I'm not trading today. And then of course on Monday there is Memorial Day, so the markets will be closed. So this will be a very long weekend. A weekend that I will use in order to grind through a book that I bought. It's the Price Action Trading Manual by Mac, which apparently is a condensed version of Al Brooks' Price Action Trading System, so I'm very excited to get into that. Without further ado, let's get right into yesterday's trading session. You can see here that I entered my first buy stop order very early after the open. And the reason for that was a pretty strong uptrend the way that I saw it. You guys know that I love uh, trading pullbacks and we have some pretty good confirmation here. So we have a price action that is trading more or less consistently over the 21 SMA, which is something that I really like to see. You got the short SMA, the 15 SMA trading above the 21 SMA, which is also a pretty good indication. And here we see a line that was previous support then acted as somewhat of a resistance and then became support again. So we bounced off the support, we bounced off the support a second time without even touching the line and then we went up. And we have this really nice signal bar right here, this really long engulfing green bar, which is a very good indication that price action is going to move further upwards. So I got my buy stop ready, I moved it down right here and then moved it again to get one tick above the previous red candle. I understand the criticism here. I could have probably made it a little bit lower in order to get the buy stop over this green candle. That would have probably been a little bit better, but I just wanted to be sure that we're really going upwards, especially because we're fairly close to um, the overnight resistance here. So in my mind, I thought if we break this level, then there's a pretty good chance that we will go even higher. Whereas I would not have felt as comfortable with this level right here. But nonetheless, I got filled and we can see right from the beginning that the prices are actually struggling to move higher. I moved my sell stop down, which is also something that I don't think I should be doing, but hey, it's all part of the learning process. And you can see here that my runner got stopped out immediately. And we really struggled to fill that second target. We can see it struggling, we can see it touching the target, but not really getting filled. Absolutely hate when that happens. And here we see like an indication of a double top, not a good sign. So I decided to call the trade early and just take a little bit of profits, only 25 bucks, but hey, better than nothing. Okay, trade number two came up not too long afterwards. The thinking behind this was that um, we may have found some support right here. Um, it wasn't very strong, but we see that this area may have been resistance, which then turned into support. It's not an exact line, of course, it's more like an area, but this looked like a pretty good area to me. In hindsight, you can tell me that this was actually pretty stupid. <laughs> I was too aggressive on this one because really if you think about it, the candle bodies are closing too close to the support line. Even broke it before and I don't know, I didn't feel perfectly comfortable about this one, but in my mind I saw the resistance coming in here, going back down, finding support and then moving back up and moving about uh, the overnight high. Or at least I was hoping that the price action would test the overnight high again, didn't necessarily need to go over because that would have actually been a couple of points that I could have gained, would have been nice. Anyways, I got my buy stop order in, got filled immediately. And almost immediately, we're going down the other way. Shucks. Again, coming to support, we're still in the game. I'm giving the price action a little bit more room to move, which was a mistake because now I lost $225, so I'm $200 in the red. Ah, that was not nice. And we can really see it flushing down, it probably took a lot of stop losses. So yeah, too bad. But hey, you win some, you lose some, right? And then the third trade was not far away. 
I'm, I'm always thinking to myself that maybe I should leave this enough time and I think that I'm forcing my trades and maybe that's a mistake that I'm making. Because when I go through trading reviews of people that do this professionally and that have been doing this for years, you can see them having a very high accuracy, but they do not trade very often. Like maybe throughout the entire day, they put three trades in, maybe four. And here I am putting three trades in within the first, what, one hour of market open. So that's probably a little bit too aggressive. And I'm trying to find patterns that fit into my mental state where I want to make another win. And that's also not the right thing to do uh, because that's how you burn your money, right? So there's a couple of things that I need to be working on and three trades within this short amount of time I'm not sure if I wasn't forcing it. And also I didn't really wait for too much conference, but I think the next one, this is actually one that I felt really, really good about. So this is where I upped my stake. So I bought four contracts on the next one. And you can see here why I drew this trend line, which is probably not an accurate one. It's more or less arbitrary to me now that I look at it again, but we can see some kind of uh, support here. So we made a higher low compared to this one. And we're still moving in an upwards direction. So now if the price action goes above the 21 SMA, I've seen this before where it then actually goes up quite a bit. And we can see earlier from the day that we always moved over the 21 SMA for quite a couple of points. So one would be here. The next one was um, afterwards right here going down. And then this should be another one on the upside. At least that was the theory behind all this. And I upped my stakes here because I wanted to make these $200 uh, up again. And I realized that aggressiveness isn't necessarily the way to get profitable because I know that this is the way to blowing up your account. And it has happened to me in the past that I blew up a simulation account because I got more aggressive. I upped my stakes because I wanted to get more profit out of the next trade. And at the end of the day, the trade didn't go the way that I expected and boom, it was all gone. But for this one, my intuition didn't fail me really. So we see price action going over the 21 SMA. I lowered my stop loss, which is not something I should be doing. Got one point. And then another two contracts at two points. We can see it struggling a little bit, but this is a really good bullish bar. And eventually the price action reverses from the downside and goes back up. And fills my target. So I made 300 bucks on this trade. Really nice. So that was my last trade of yesterday. Came out $100 in the positive. As I said, I like to keep my profits and I like to protect my money. So I just called it a day right here. Let's check out the statistics from this week. It wasn't actually too bad. I didn't overtrade, as you can see, I kept the number of contracts pretty low. Um, cumulative net profit, 400 bucks for a week, definitely not bad. And my win percentage is halfway decent. So we are about 75%, well, more than 75% on the week, which is really good. I'm really happy with that. Compared to last week, you can see that I overtraded severely, um, made even less money, and my win percentage was absolutely terrible. I'm glad that I'm making progress and it feels like I'm finally getting a hang of things. So that's a, it's a really good sign. Now I just have to keep this up for another maybe two or three weeks until I go back in with my real account, with my real money. Um, but for this weekend, I will definitely just review a little bit of theory. As I said, I wanted to grind through this book that I bought, which was expensive enough, so I really have to take advantage of it. And probably over the uh, weekend, I will be making another video just reviewing what I read, reviewing what I learned, and reviewing what I learned in a practical sense versus what I learned from the book itself. And maybe there are some really interesting insights that come out of this. Anyways, thank you very much for joining me for yet another trade review. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Give me a like, that would be very much appreciated. I hope you guys are having a good day. Have a lovely long weekend, and I will see you very soon. Bye. Thank you.